Hello and welcome to Eat Your Backyard, my YouTube channel where I tell you about all kinds of edible and non-edible things. In this case, it's actually edible. The heart of this tree, the sable palm, is eaten. So I want to tell you a bit about how to grow a sable palm of your own easily and successfully. So let's get started. First, let's talk about some facts about the sable palm, often referred to as the sable palmetto, as many other aliases. You might have heard it referred to as a cabbage palm, or a blue palmetto, or a Carolina palmetto, or a swamp cabbage. In fact, the legend of the swamp cabbage man is actually a thing in Florida. So the sable palm. This is a staple of many southern states. Uh, it will grow a range from North Carolina all the way down to Florida. Also common in Texas. It has a very large leaf to it. You can see it's a fan palm. I think of it as a gigantic Chinese fan palm. It's but better because it's more tall, regal, and uh, far more easy to grow. Uh, you could grow this with zero fertilizer. If you fertilize it, it will be super strong. And I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video where I'll give you links to how to purchase a cheap kit to grow one successfully with a super high success rate and where to get some cheap fertilizer to keep it healthy if you want it to really grow fast. Okay, so one other thing is that it does give uh, black fruit on it, so to speak. A lot of na native animals eat it, so it's good from that perspective. It's very salt tolerant. Now you can see it growing near the ocean along the Atlantic coast and Gulf of Mexico uh, commonly. It is hardy to zone 8, so this is, this is one that a lot of people can have access to in their yard. I think it's essential. I think it's essential to have some trees like this that are part of the natural uh, habitat of your area. Certainly, I am considering planting maybe some more of these in my yard because of that and also just the fact that I love them. You can see in mine there's a, looks almost like a weed growing out of it. That's a strangler fig, what they call a strangler fig. Uh, that's a ficus tree that takes root in the canopy of a sable palm and it actually doesn't strangle it, it just grows around it. They can grow perfectly fine with a fig tree, ficus tree, growing out of them. And that's an example of one of the many examples of how hardy this thing is. You can see there's a stiff breeze blowing. They can take heavy, heavy wind. This one in the video has taken uh, direct hits from hurricanes and it's also suffered freezes. Light freezes. So here we are at a park where we see a group of sable palms. Now here we get into just fantastic way of, of growing these beautiful palm trees. The palm tree trunk of the sable palm is incredibly straight, but it can grow sideways. Sometimes they get blown to the ground and then regrow straight up. So they get that bent look. Now, how to grow a sable palm. That's the next thing I want to cover. These things can get 50 to 70 feet tall, but they love to be trimmed. But growing them is a long process, so it's not going to look like this in the picture overnight. These palm trees, I would guess, are probably way over 30 years old, probably far, far older than that. And they've been battered and beaten by the wind uh, for years. But for many years, you'll be able to enjoy your sable palm as a small tree. And they grow really fast, actually. So the best thing is uh, to plant a seed and then nurture it or plant a few seeds and nurture it and grow it in because if you follow a few simple steps you can get it to be looking like these in a matter of time so my recommended way to grow a sable palm tree is to cut out all of the potentially frustrating parts of the experience and to do that i think you can easily achieve that by grabbing a grow kit for a sable palm tree. Now these are inexpensive. They're about, they run about $11 when I checked. Free shipping, free returns, but check this out. You get 
guarantee on it growing. You get all the right components to start it growing, including a little greenhouse. This is what you need to get a seed to a tree with all the questions answered. And you just simply follow the directions and you can grow it inside, outside, etc. Then once it gets to a good point in this kind of grow kit, then you repot it in a larger pot and so on and so forth. And once it's established in that grow kit though, it's not stopping. It's heading for this kind of thing. That palm tree right there that's provided by the Johnstein grow kit that you saw, that picture is an example of what it would look like maybe after about 10 years. And uh, here's, an, here's a shot of on Amazon. I provided a link down in the description of this video. Please click on it to support the channel and grab one. Like I said, 10 bucks, 11 bucks free shipping and they uh, also have a guarantee which is super cool you know this to me is like you know easy because I enjoy the process of growing it all the way from a seed and it certainly is the least expensive way and then you'll have thousands of seeds to grow more <laughs> really the only other thing you're going to need with this palm tree is to plant it in a place that gets adequate sunlight, water it, and give it a little bit of palm tree granular fertilizer like the one I show here from Job's. This is excellent fertilizer. Uh, read the reviews. A lot of people use it. A lot of people have success. That's why they can do things like this guarantee. Uh, last time I checked, it was about, eight, let's say, about $8.750 for a four-pound bag. You really don't need a lot. Just sprinkle a little on, water it in all the way. Uh, that's really the way to go and this palm tree will thrive and before you know it you'll have your own sable tree for us so go look in the description check out the links buy a sable palm tree kit and let's get crazy growing them <laughs> and then go ahead and leave your experience in the comments so that we can all benefit from it thanks for watching eat your backyard